Hello, I'm King Neptune. Buena la vista, baby. We are finally leaving Haki. It's hard to pull away from this beautiful place, but it's time. Time to go see something new. Double-breasted Key, a small uninhabited island, is a favorite of cruisers. It's beautiful, fun to explore, has lovely beaches, and a lot of great critters to find. It also has a bit of protection from the east winds, and most importantly, it's close enough to Hog Key that you can still get decent internet. All right, first day here at Double Breasted, and we are heading out to see if Brown can catch his first lobster. He only has five more days because lobster season ends, and our neighbor in front of us has just gone out and come back with something, so we're gonna go find out what he's got. Our neighbor, a solo sailor called Guy, told us that he saw lobsters and fish in the reefs. So off we went in the dinghy out to the ocean to free dive. We did see several lobsters, but without the right spear, Brown was at a huge disadvantage. And while he tried, he could not grab the critters as they were too deep in the reef. We ended up catching nothing, but we managed to flood both GoPros. It was another frustrating outing and lobster season was quickly coming to an end. We are on Double Breasted Key and I've managed to drown two GoPros today, so we are on to the camera phone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. We're gonna go sea glass hunting today. Our sea glass excursion was a huge success. We found a small beach that tumbled perfectly rounded and frosted sea glass onto the sand with every wave. We spent hours picking up the best pieces, but often we were tricked by small plastic shapes that looked like sea glass, usually a beautiful blue. Due to the ocean currents, the ragged islands are a trash vortex for all of the floating garbage in the Caribbean. The beaches were littered with trash. Well, it certainly makes a point about the trash that's being found all over these islands. Shoes are probably the number one thing we're seeing, and there you go. It's a big moment. He finally broke the streak right before, four well, days it's before the it's, end it's called of equipment. lobster season. Woo! All right, the streak is officially broken. How do you feel, Brown Council? Oh my gosh, the pressure. I'm just so happy to get these bugs right here. The reef was incredibly bountiful and beautiful. It was amazing being out there. Great job, guys. Well, we're on our way, leaving Double Breasted Key right here and headed to Raccoon because we've got a bit of a blow coming tonight, tomorrow, the next few days weather system has definitely come in. So we are off to find a little bit more shelter than where we are. It is super wet outside and humid. We're collecting water for our laundry in our cooler and as well as the buckets, but it is just wet and nasty out. So we've got the dehumidifier going and we are nice and cool and dry in here first day in a long time where we've had rain. Hey, at least the boat is getting a really nice wash down, right? We have a super annoying creek and <laughs> trying to figure out where it's coming from. It's just very difficult to access. access it, but then to identify it as well is really hard. So Brown's taking it apart. See what we find. We are off the boat <laughs> and it's a good thing because it has been so rolly. You 
can't really tell from this picture, everything looks flat, but you can see the boat over there really rocking side to side and that's what we've been doing all day. So we have dropped the dinghy off. We're gonna go try and find a path over to the other side. And the good thing is, hopefully when the wind turns hard to the east and really picks up some speed, we're gonna have a lot of protection here. We and hope so. this rolling will stop. Let's hope. <laughs> Grateful for the cruisers who've come before us, who set up the trash to let you know where the path is to walk on, which is great. There's a little buoy. This is a very different coast than the other islands we've been on for sure. While there is a beautiful beach and unique geological features on the ocean side, the hike over is tedious. We would definitely not recommend it, especially if you have any leg or knee issues. The big easterly blows arrived and trapped us on the lee side of the island. But after a couple of days, we decided to dinghy over to Manowar Bay to do some free diving with our friend Guy. We knew it would be rough, so to be safe, we dropped the dinghy anchor inside the cove and swam out onto the reef. If we caught anything, we knew it would be a really long swim back to the boat, but hopefully it would be worth it. The reef was beautiful and the floating plastic bags made it seem quite eerie and ethereal. I was spotting, the boys were spearing. Three lobsters were out strolling around on the reef thinking lobster season was over, but boy, were they wrong. We nabbed all of them, plus a lionfish and a grouper. It was a great day on the water. Leaving Raccoon Key with our buddy boat. There's Guy, and we are headed to Buena Vista. Captain Brown at the helm. It's been a bit rolly this morning, last night. Hoping we get some less rolly. What do you think? Anything better than this is good, and uh, you know, it couldn't be any worse. And talking about that next place that we're going, my favorite guy, Arnold Schwarzenegger, would say. We're going to Buena La Vista, baby! Ah! Hello, I am King Neptune, and I'm going for a hunt. Before I go to, for a hunt, I have to fix my trident, which is broken off here. A piece of coral that I did a long time ago, and it's not good for catching fish. So, in the words of Alex, give me dribble or give me death. And I'm gonna work on this little tip right here and sharpen this. It was the final day of lobster season and everyone was out hunting. Due to the rough seas and high winds, we had to settle for hunting lobsters inside the reefs. We found some bombies and I spotted several lobsters, some in very tight spots. Brown was finally able to grab one by hand. It was so exciting to see this face off, but my camera battery was dead, so we can't share this moment of triumph. I guess the lobster is proof enough. Well, it's the last day of lobster season and my man was successful. He was able to actually not only get a lobster, but he actually grabbed them for the first time ever. Woo! It's Mr. Lobster. He's not too happy, <laughs> buddy. I appreciate you so much. Thanks Ooh. for coming. I love you. Who would have ever thought we'd share an anchorage with La Vagabond, huh? That night, we hosted a beach sundowner party, celebrating, or mourning in our case, the end of lobster season. 
the whole Anchorage was invited, and it was a fabulous time. And it also marked our final night in the lower ragged islands.